I don't own this company right Tank Reznor de- does, but rain, rain, go away, come again some other day. Rain, rain, go away, come again some other day. Hey there, J. Patrick Morgan, wise man say dude, real apolitical news. It's a... Uh, this little segment's cut entitled, Where's the Harm? And, uh, I've been quite disparaged, or ignored, or both, or, you know, outright, um, attacked in a political way as if it has anything to do with politics. After all, the word apolitical means that you aren't taking political sides on anything, or you're weighing between the two sides and accepting one or two things from one side and one or two things from the other side, as you uh, as you see that it uh, makes sense in rejecting all the hyped crap that's uh, surrounding both sides. That's what apolitical means. Not to uh, talk down to people that uh, are not uh, high on their vocabulary or anything like that because, um, you know, different people are more talented talented in some areas than in others and vice versa and so, um, but, uh, yeah, a little bit of, uh, you know, I don't know if it's laziness, ain't got time, can't be inconvenienced, this and that, scared of what, uh, their friends might think if they share or, um, discuss a certain topic or, uh, whatever the case may be, it's probably a combination of all the above, um, and uh, especially since um, most, not all, real apolitical news is is the one series out of all of them where you're going to, because uh, politics pisses me off, more or less, you're going to hear a cuss word or two, uh, depending on the topic and, and stuff. Uh, you know... For the most part, uh, I've been uh, pretty uh, respectful concerning um, the topics that I've done on end of day's discussion and the electric scooter uh, solar road show. I said I was going to um, make things uh, quite a bit more family fem- friendly, and I mean it, and I meant it, and I'm, st- I'm, I'm sticking to that. Uh, so... You know, um, in that sense, uh, where's the harm? You know, where is the harm? The, uh, the stuff that I've been talking about in the more recent videos, even the older videos where I use some smut language, uh, it's concerning, um, being community oriented and loving your neighbors, blessing your neighbors, uh, you know, getting prepared for harder times to come yourself um, and talking other people to become more prepared for harder times themselves. Uh, just because you love people and you don't want them to struggle. Uh, you don't want, you know, maybe most people are just so unforgiving and uh, judgmental that they don't love people and they do want them to struggle. Who knows? Uh, but uh, there is no harm. You know, you cannot really adequately show me in any way where there is harm in promoting those things. If never another power outage in the in, in the middle of a deep freeze ever happens, if no other hurricane ever happens or no earthquake ever happens, if there's no revolt in in 
civil war and martial law in place and we have no more XYZ um, variants in coronaviruses and nothing else bad ever ever happens if you stocked up on food and other supplies and bought emergency radios and and rechargeable walkie talkies and had a backup solar um, system connected to a camper battery bought a generator of some sort a dual fuel is good because both propane and gas in case you can't get gas or you can't get propane um, and uh, these uh, plug in your wall um, multi amp hour of uh, uh, battery packs that you can buy and 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 all of this stuff that I, i've been talking about that's available for preparation and stuff like you buy those things and not another horrible thing ever happens in the world ever again which is impossible horrible things happen and they have happened and they will happen and they continue to happen and there's not a single thing that human beings can do about earthquakes and and tidal waves and um you know uh power failures due, or due to faulty power, some of that stuff could be done by, you know, the corporations running the power and this and that, a nuclear disaster, they have all these safety protocols and they can tighten them a little further when there's a mistake in a nuclear leak or whatever, you know, those kind of things uh, can kind of be done um when the right people get uh put their think tanks together and and solve those problems but i'm talking about like natural disasters if an asteroid is going to fall from the sky what can we do about it i mean you know they have plans but uh they haven't had an asteroid like that fall from the sky since the dinosaurs going going by their category of history and things um, so how do they, how do they have any way of testing whether their plans are actually going to uh, work um, when they um, try to plan for something like that? Solar flare, same thing. How did you know? How do they even go uh, go about uh, testing that until another one um, happens? Uh, it's just uh, you know. So talking about preparedness and um, being kind and loving enough uh, to your general community, whether it's your local community or beyond, um, talking to communities across the world through the internet, so on and so forth. Because, you know, think about it. Um, you, you could have uh, cell tower and internet outages for very long periods of time, too. Uh, if there's a power outage along with it, you don't have backup power. You can't even watch the TV news to see what the TV news is saying about the emergency. Um, none of it, you know. What, where is the harm in talking about being prepared? Uh, you could say, well, it sounds all paranoid and uh, dark and gloomy and pessimistic and this and that and the other thing um, in the sense of me talking about these kind of things. But I'm putting the positive on it. I'm not saying uh, the world is um, going to be on fire and we're not going to have any water to put it out uh, kind of deal or anything like that. I'm coming up with solutions to all those what ifs. So there's your positive. There's the takeaway of the pessimistic. Um, strong communities that support each other survive and, and ultimately even after hard times are over they're back to thriving that's so you know history proves that you know the strong communities did not get wiped out and that's why there's still people here in the first place is because they didn't get wiped out so history in itself proves it you know, so you could say, well, it's, you know, fear, fear, and this and that, and blah, 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 and, you know, or you can say I'm um, uh, getting paid to work for the solar 
um, companies and the deep cell battery companies and the electric scooter come well no I'm not really yet I've applied for some sponsorship I've uh, talked to some people I've you know I've uh, put it out there but nothing is set in stone and everything has been out of my own little pocket my own little mostly empty most of the time pocket is what has been um, doing all of this uh, so far. I really, you know, I, in a sense, I could be, you know, compensated by appreciative manufacturers that sell those kind of things uh, because they do that all the time with uh, different YouTube um, video series and programs and channels and, and this and that. Uh, they, they, they're they constantly um, supporting uh, different people because what they're talking about sells something that they sell, whether it's Christmas stuff or, or um, you know, dresses and shirts or, or whatever it's selling. They, they constantly do it. I, the history shows that, too, since the history of YouTube. Um, history shows that as well. History in itself proves that when you um, do that, uh, things a certain way, that uh, um, sponsors become interested and they offer to sponsor you or you apply and it looks good to them and they accept your offer to, uh, to um, be sponsored uh, or request to be sponsored. Uh, you know, it's not a, it's not some delusion that no ever no company ever sponsored and no crowdfunding thing has ever been a success and nobody has ever um, survived because they've been prepared. You know, y'all bought the shit out of toilet paper a couple almost a couple years back because you know, fear, fear, fear. You know, and uh, and uh, when you really did not run out of the opportunity to buy toilet paper and they restocked the shelves eventually and so on and so forth, you had all this extra toilet paper that you didn't have to buy for several months. It's something that would, you know, totally taken off from your budget. You could spend all that toilet paper money on um, eating out or uh, gasoline for a road trip or whatever, you know, and, and it all worked out for a good. If you stock up on six months worth of food and there's never a food shortage, there's all your food for your next family reunion or college graduation or whatever gathering that you don't have to spend a very very much money to uh, put together that celebration and you lost nothing and it harmed nothing it caused no problem there was no harm there is no harm I have family sometimes friends all these different people that uh, think well you know it's not very important. It's nothing, you know, it, it, it's probably not going to work anyways. He's probably not going to get any views, this and that, blah, 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 you know. And so, you know, don't bother to share the GoFundMe. Don't bother to share the video so it gets more subscriptions and views because subscriptions and views is what it does actually get you sponsorship. In the case of Rumble, um, it gives you... Um, entrance into contest where you can win money it gets you cash for a certain amount of points that you build up based on views and subscriptions and rumbles which is the equivalent of a like on facebook or a like on youtube when you hit the, that plus button in the corner to rumble somebody that's like hitting like or if you hit the minus button it's like hitting dislike 
um, on, on Rumble, and all those points add up to um, Rumble cutting me a check eventually, um, which in all most likely would go right back into the promotions. It's not going to be, oh, I finally got a Rumble check. I'm going to go to the store and buy a great big bottle of liquor and, and go to uh, uh, so-and-so's house and, and buy an ounce of pot and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you know, it's not going to be that. I'm I'm done with those kind of days where wow, I'm a boatload of money. Let's just party it away. Blah blah blah. You know, you know, I'm I'm done with that kind of thing. I'm 55 years old. Well, some 55 year olds still do that kind of thing. So I guess that's not uh, the best argument. But uh, yeah. In real apolitical news, I just give you the straight up, you know, again, um, my email address, it's public, you know, it's on my Rumble account, it's on my YouTube account, I give it to people in comments on their post on Facebook, and, you know, give it to people in Facebook Messenger, and I give it to people in Telegram, and so on and so forth, you know, I did send it to people in text sometimes, um, you know, through the telephone text, um, and you, you, you can, um, you could uh, disparage and harass me in the email address or, or use constructive con criticism if, you know, either one is your choice. Or you can um, do a little think tank and, um, yeah, you said this and this and this is good, but what if, and I want to add this and this, this this is probably a good idea that will go with that and, 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 and blah, blah, you know. I'm I'm straight up and I'm not hiding from anybody. And uh, you know, it's all it's all whether you can be inconvenienced to take the time to do that. I mean, I don't see where it's much of an inconvenience to hit a plus button or a like button or this or that. I don't see where it's much of an inconvenience to put a um comment in, in somewhere that is helpful in some way. I don't see where it's much of an inconvenience to hit forward or copy inside Messenger and then forward it to somebody or paste it somewhere or or something like that. Those things, um, even on the most ridiculously hard to use phones, really only take a minute. Um, unless, uh, you just have several glitches going on, um, at the time that, uh, are maddening and annoying and you, I, I've given up on some things at some points when they're, you know, just, uh, having a bad day with the, with tech, uh, kind of thing, you know, but, uh, if everybody's having a bad day with tech all at the same time, that really is kind of suspicious in my, in, in my book, that everybody would have a bad tech day all at the same time, you know, that's, you know, somebody's deliberately causing a bad tech day if everybody that I talk to out of uh, approximately 1,100 people, if we're just talking Facebook here, um, is having a bad tech day. You know, so, uh, you know, really, I, I'm seeing it that uh, the stuff gets ignored because they think it's causing harm, or I get... Uh, you know, outright attacked uh, because they, you know, can't handle the information or they think it's ha causing harm or, you know, it's totally against anything they agree with uh, and, and stuff like that. Um, and, uh, but uh, you want to talk about me talking about fear and um, mortal fear and fear mongering and, and, uh, being negative and, and this hat and the other thing. You're listening to the stupid ass left versus right wing propaganda news that's doing that every day of the week. If they're not doing it with coronavirus, they're doing it with terrorist threats, domestic terrorist threats, this and that, what, uh, you know, um, uh, 
gun rights and mass shooters and this and that, you know, and uh, the uh, 22 plus, uh, now I guess it's more like $25 trillion in debt versus um, everybody should have everything for free and it would solve everybody's problems because everybody should have everything for free. Well, somebody's got to pay for it and I really don't think the Rothschild and Rockefeller dynasties are happy with giving you anything for free unless they have something to gain out of it. You know, they're not generous, nice, happy, giving people. They aren't. They're just not. Um, so, you know, I'm, I fail to see what the harm is in getting this going. Um, and it, uh, it, to add to all that, it's not even just the educational side of it and teaching people how to prepare for harder times coming and these things. You know, um, part of that program is just in certain towns where I see somebody on a fixed income that desperately needs something fixed in their house or something in their life taken care of. Maybe they, um, maybe they uh, got a crappy Medicare um, uh, provider and uh, still have trouble getting all the medications they need or whatever that's part of the electric scooter road show blessing people that are struggling making them making their life a little happier making their day put, getting a smile out of people and stuff it, i haven't hid that from the um itinerary of the electric scooter road show um, you know, it's right out there and stated in plain sight that that's part of the program. That's what, what I mean by blessing your neighbors and being community oriented. That's exactly everything I'm talking about. Recognizing when somebody is struggling and should have a leg up and should not have to be struggling. Um, and so, so therefore... Where has been the harm? It causes so much harm to hit a copy and paste thing or hit a forward button or hit, a, you know, or, or drop a post in saying, um, you know, I don't see it going anywhere, but this, my friend or my family member, it's, it really means a lot to him to get something like this going. So if you would look at it and consider um, putting some moral support and some input, sharing it around, donating to the GoFundMe, um, here it is for better or for worse. Um, and it all takes just a minute or two. It, you know, it, uh, um, and so this is where I'm going to end the real apolitical news. This is a part of where I uh, weed out both the left wing and the right wing bullshit and give it to you straight without supporting either side. I'm not biased. I look at everything for what exactly it is. I'm not biased uh, towards um, being re a registered Republican or a registered Democrat or whatever. I have no bias in those aspects. I'm not biased to any corporation because I'm not working for any corporation. I have no bias either way when it comes to any kind of corporations or commercials or sales or anything else. If there's any bias at all, it's because the fact that I know that when everything becomes about profits and money, that the, the, the people that struggle and the people that are suffering and the people that die are getting left out. That's where I'm biased. I'm biased against a greedy monetary system. And, uh, you know, it's not just me that's biased against a greedy monetary system. The only time Jesus Christ ever became violent is when he flipped over money changers tables in the temple. And not only did he do that, he chased people around with a whip 
in the temple. He was totally nonviolent while he was being beat to death by Romans, but the one thing he became violent over is greedy money. Greedy, materialistic money. And that's it. So technically, if I'm biased against corporations and their greed and everything being about profits and this and that, I'm doing what Jesus would do. There you go. I'm doing what Jesus would do there. There you have it. J. Patrick Morgan, the wise man, say to this is real apolitical news. This is not your TV bullshit. It's not your TV social programming. This is real. R-E-A-L, real, in capital letters, apolitical news. Sit and soak in that for a while. <laughs>